Coach me up on this next play right here. I kind of read that. It's just being a football player. You see it and you just make the play. I appreciate you for your advice that you give me. Just some nuggets for you. Yeah, my name is Joshua Mickens. I go to Lawrence Central and I play defensive end over here too. I'm just looking forward to learning a little bit from you. Be one of the best freshmen in the league. Like you having a really good year, so I'll be just gonna learn some things from you. Shoot, let's go through some tape and help you out for sure. Right here, it's a speed to power situation. Okay. The QB, he was relying on his feet, so any opportunity he saw to run, that's what he was gonna do. And I saw him step up in the pocket. That's when I work back under. That's perfect, man. There's nothing to coach up on that, bro. Like, if you know the quarterback is stepping up into the A gap, and you got a guy that's a vertical setter. You know, at the end of the day, there's no point in trying to run around him. The smart thing to do is what you did right here, do a speed to power rush. That was a beautiful play, bro. Oh yeah, this, I remember this play. This dude's been, he was sitting on my cross chop all day and I did a lot of power. So I just set him up and I just literally just uh, sped around him. The quarterback wasn't down yet and I just had a second effort rush to be able to make that play. Hey, you gotta break him down, man, if you don't want me to come help you. At the end of the day, four equals one, bro. And the two dudes in the interior did their job well. And Afadi on the other side, number 59, he did his job well too. So it allowed me to get in on that play right there. As far as speed to power, like when do you kind of get that feel or that pass rushing instinct? Like, oh, I need to power. That's a great question. So me being like a hybrid kind of defensive end, I'm not like the biggest guy in the world. You want to be able to show that you have power. So my first initial rush is I don't even care if I don't get to the quarterback. As long as I show that I have power, he has to respect it. So after I give him that power, the next time he'll start setting his feet and you'll be able to work around the corner. Once you start beating him around the corner, he's gonna start oversetting again. Then you throw the power back in there. And that's when you'll be able to really get him up the field, power him and go finish and get a sack, bro. Definitely. All right, thank you. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that's fire. That's just being a football player, bro. You see it and you just make the play. Yeah, man, I would just tell you, bro, just keep doing what you're doing and some advice for myself on those Saturdays after you, you guys win a game, when everybody else is out partying and, and doing dumb stuff, just stay in your dorm or spend time with your family and do something to get better because that would allow you to just be more locked in and be effective and make plays at a high level so you can, you know, God willing, take care of your family. Definitely. Yeah, I appreciate you for your advice that you give me. Thank you. Always, bro. Always. Thank you. All right, Josh.